Alrighty guys, so I've just uploaded my tier list for the hunters. Um, I'm just going to quickly throw this in here. Um, I don't know what happened. The nerf and buff video that I just posted now, from when, well, when this video goes live, it, it, it's already been uploaded for like a couple of hours now. That video should have gone live yesterday, so I don't know what's happening there. Well, it is what it is. Okay, whatever. Anyway, weapons tier list. <laughs> um, so, uh, I've kind of gone back to where it was before. I don't. Th yeah, so I've left it to where it is to what I left it beforehand. Um, I've just kneaded it up just a little bit, just kind of placing certain weapons for specific hunters, of course. So, kind of leaving that there. We've got the moon dagger just in there, chilling, relaxing, of course. Um, but yeah, we've got to update a few things. We've got to move a few weapon weapons around. And um, yeah, then we'll uh, work on towards where the moon shadow weapon goes. So, first things first, um, we'll start things off with the longsword. Now, the long sword itself, I am going to be putting down to S. Reason being, if I had it at plus three, it would be SS. No doubt in my mind, this weapon would be SS. But I have it in S, and I've start obviously with Endgame and whatnot. I've started to realise that ah, if I don't get my counter attack off, this weapon isn't all that too great. It really is the uh, the, the the storm um, buff that once it's triggered through the counter attack is actually broken and by getting it to plus three you can comfortably activate it even without having to counter attack and so the usage of this weapon just opens up a great deal amount and so having it been limited through that um yeah i would say at best it's an s as of right now but it does become ss worthy once you get the third dupe onto the weapon so for example where is it just you just just so that everyone is aware so once you counter attack you effectively uh, apply the storm of the white flame so you get that increase of eight percent then you create an area of just constant lightning damage equal to 100 percent of the user's attack and this is on for 10 seconds now in order to activate that you have to counter attack if you don't counter attack you don't cater to any of that unfortunately so at that point the weapon is a bit of a wet wipe now, they did buff it in terms of giving you an extra 10% shield. Fantastic. In the damage region, unfortunately, not really much going on in terms of the buff. Now, obviously, by maxing it out, or not maxing it out, sorry, by getting that plus three, you can use, well, sorry, when using lightning, inflicts the storm of white flames effect regardless of a successful counter attack. So at that point, this storm of the white flames is uh, it's basically an open book. Use it whenever you want. Activate it whenever you want. You've got full control, full reign. And so from that, at that point, a plus three longsword becomes SS worthy. Um, without it, it's S tier at most. Um, the Vulcan I'm also going to knock down a bit. To be honest, um, I do. Uh, when it comes to the fire weapons themselves, I am preferring the Eye of Sauron more. I don't just yeah, I'm just gonna put that out there. Um, but yeah, I've not really having too much. I mean, it's it's a solid weapon. Don't get me wrong. I like I'm starting to work on it a little bit now because I have to. <laughs> Certain fights are giving me a headache in terms of having needing. Um, fire weapons but um i've been you using more of the eye of Sauron to be fair but the vulcan weapon is not bad i just don't think it's ss worthy um sniper yep you are going to ss my friend this is a beauty i mean i've already done a video on it um this is one of the sr weapons which uh, i'm catering to once global drops this is going to be my baby so i'm hoping i pull a few copies of this weapon <laughs> uh, at least the first one so that way we can charge it up but yeah this is ss worthy for an sr weapon this is fantastic love it uh, the boat itself can stay at S. I mean, again, if you want to throw that up to SS, it's worthy of it, but I'll leave it as is. Um, the Orcs Broadsword, I'm going to be dropping down that to B. Um, I am dropping the Bleed Dagger to A, because that's an awesome weapon. Coming out of the woodworks. I I've managed to max it out now, so I'm having fun with that. So, happy days. Um, and then, I think for the most part, for A, this lineup is solid. I'm knocking this down to D because I just don't like the defensiveness of it. I mean, it's, it's for, for a defensive weapon, great. But I don't need it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see on what point we will actually need like a full-on defensive weapon. Um, I expect maybe a boss fight to come on, which um, makes it so that we have to kind of survive. So maybe a survivability situation, but as of right now, I'm just going to stick it down to D. I've just got no uses for it. And I've, yeah, as much as I've tried to use it... <laughs> No success, so we'll leave it as that. But I think for the most part, boys, this is kind of where I'm going to leave. Where my current lookout weapons are right now. Yeah. Okay. So, 
it is time for the Moon Shadow Dagger, uh, the newest SSR weapon for Jim Wu. Dark Element, more Dark Support. Who would have, you know? Uh, I mean, uh, dude, <laughs> as I've mentioned before, do we really need it? <laughs> um, Could have really done with the uh, Phoenix Bow, but it is what it is. We'll probably get that in the release for Global at some point. Well, in May, to be particular. 8th of May is when we get the release. Fantastic. So. Ah, the dagger, the dagger, the dagger, the dagger. So, I've managed to pull it, got the initial copy, and it is doing wonders. Truth be told, it is doing fantastic. Um, which I'm very surprised of, especially with the damage output. So, I'm, I'm over the moon for that. So, obviously with this dagger, it's helping out in the department of, of course, slowing down time for three seconds. Um, it's in correlation with the shadow step, and through that, you can actually maximize doing a ton of damage. Just an FYI, I s mentioned this before when I first looked at this weapon, this with the katana, the plum sword, is basically the new combination. The scythe is still good, don't get me wrong, but um, if you can maximize on capitalizing and maxing out this specific dagger, um, yeah, the new combination now is the plum sword with this shadow moon dagger, and... Um, it's basically the best combination in the game right now, to be honest. Um, so, obviously, when you initially pull the weapon, you can apply yourself a full moon. That's on infinite. Every time you apply a full moon, it gives you one stack. And then through that, you'll get yourself a lunar eclipse, which will allow you to do 10% more damage and then increase on the user's dark damage by 10%. So effectively, if you're going to get to, uh, an enemy that is weakened to dark, then you, you, yeah, that's 20% uh, on the board right there. And you can capitalize on that for three seconds, of course, which is amazing. Again, if you're if you're stacking up on the dark element, um, you can effectively do a ton of damage. And so that is why the moon dagger, well, sorry, the moon shadow right now is above the scythe, in my opinion. Now, just by getting the initial dupe, now I'm I'm kind of I'm feasting for this weapon. Like I want more of it. But of course, to go about getting it, it's, it's a pain in the ass. So we'll have to kind of let the game do its thing. And as time goes on, I'm sure I will pull dupes as well as many others. So just by getting that first dupe, it, it it's insane. It, like first dupe, just 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 the initial dupe. Um, when you activate the full moon, you're now getting three stacks. Keep in mind, each stack gives you one lunar eclipse. So by having that first dupe, it's giving you a three stack of full moon. And so from that, you're getting a three stack of Lunar Eclipse, and it goes up by 15%. So you get the extra 5% on the damage increase and then on the dark damage. So effectively, by getting a three stack, that is straight off the bat, um, was it 90% altogether, right? If it's, well, if, if we're singling it out and we're just focusing on the, the, the top part, then that's 45%. But if you're maximizing on the enemy that has dark attribute weakness, 90% which is insane I would have probably thought they would have left that on the third dupe just to kind of cater more to or the incentive of <laughs> getting people to summon but that is insane to say well, and that's kind of one of the big reasons why I, I at least want an extra dupe so I can maximize on doing a ton of damage even not even having the dark advantage even just by having that damage taken increase that plus 45 I'll take that any day of the week happy days so there's that, and then of course once you get to plus three, you then cater to the shadow step, which will give you uh, a lunar eclipse per instances of full moon. Keep in mind, full moon, it's infinite. It never goes away. So if you're stacking and you apply the shadow step, God almighty, this weapon is going to be dismantling enemies. So plus three shadow, uh, moon shadow daggers broken to an absolute T and then if you max it out the user's damage increases by 50% while the time slowing effective is active this is just insult to injury right now the, the, the developers were just like you know what just throw it in there why not why not S screw the enemies just just make this weapon disgustingly broken please so <laughs> is this what look is this weapon worth it yeah if you can get dupes on it, you're damn right it is. I mean, of course, at the end of the day, you want to get their initial copy to actually, you know, get the weapon and all that stuff. Um, but maxing this dupe, uh, this weapon out, even just by getting one dupe, three dupe, five dupe, it's broken. It's broken. This weapon is absolutely insane. Um, so just by saying that, you guys know where I'm taking with, <laughs> with this. Um, it's 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 a hundred percent. Where would I put? Oh, SST. No. It's it's SST. It's insanely broken. Again, these two weapons together, disgusting. 
to be fair you can pair this up with any other weapon and you can maximize your damage just because of the full moon and the lunar eclipse to give you that more percentage of damage so it's broken put it on your rate up list hope and pray you pull it if you can get dupes god almighty i'm jealous i want dupes but because of how it is obtained and how much of a ball like it will be and the cost of it all of course um, I'm just gonna let I got my initial copy and from that point on I'm gonna let the game take the will I'm gonna let Jesus take the will and hope and pray <laughs> so the moon dagger weapon yeah it's damn freaking good